What's best about the annual Oscars is that they help people discover good recent movies to watch. All of the nominated films and performances are well worth your time and money. This year, eight films are nominated for Best Picture, and you can stream them all except for Judas and the Black Messiah. Visit JustWatch.com and type the title of the film you want to see in the search pane. The front runner for Best Picture is Nomadland, starring Frances McDormand as a jobless widow forced to live in an old van, driving around the American West looking for seasonal work. This melancholy film is a unique blend of fiction and documentary. Many of the characters are real nomads, non-actors playing versions of themselves. I think Nomadland will win Best Picture, although if I had a vote, I'd choose Promising Young Woman, starring Carrie Mulligan. Mulligan's character drops out of medical school and descends into depression and anger after her best friend is sexually assaulted and commits suicide. This stunning film begins as a dark comedy, but turns into a shocking thriller that will keep surprising you right up to the very end. For the first time ever, there are two women on the Best Directors list. My prediction is that Chloe Chow, the maker of Nomadland, will win. But I'd give the Oscar to Emerald Fennell, who wrote and directed Promising Young Woman. The favorite in the Best Actor race is Chadwick Boseman, who died from colon cancer not long after starring in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Bozeman was a great actor who has played such different characters as baseball player Jackie Robinson, Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall, and the Black Panther. He'll win, although in my opinion, the devastating performance of Anthony Hopkins as an 80-year-old with dementia in The Father was even better. Best Actress is the only category where my prediction of who will win and my personal choice of who should win are the same. Carrie Mulligan in Promising Young Woman. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now. Sorry, maybe that one's too hard.